Either kill me or take me as I am, because I'll be damned if I ever change. It is only by way of pain, one arrives at pleasure. In order to know virtue, we must first acquaint ourselves with vice. We are no guiltier, in following the primitive impulses that govern us, than is the Nile for her floods, or the sea for her waves. Sexual pleasure is, I agree, a passion to which all others are subordinate, but in which they all unite. If it is the dirty element that gives pleasure to the act of lust, then the dirtier it is, the more pleasurable it is bound to be. Your body is the church, where nature asks to be reverenced. All universal moral principles are idle fancies. Sex without pain is like food without taste. Social order at the expense of liberty is hardly a bargain. Sex is as important as eating or drinking, and we ought to allow the one appetite to be satisfied, with as little restraint, or false modesty as the other. The only way to a woman's heart is along the path of torment. What we are doing here, is only the image of what we would like to do. It is not my mode of thought that has caused my misfortunes, but the mode of thought of others. One must do violence to the object of one's desire, when it surrenders, the pleasure is greater. True happiness lies in the senses, and virtue gratifies none of them. Destruction, hence, like creation, is one of nature's mandates. Love is stronger than pride. Happiness is an abstraction, it is a product of the imagination, it is a way of being moved, which depends entirely on our way of seeing and feeling. It is always by way of pain, one arrives at pleasure. In order to know virtue, we must acquaint ourselves with vice. Only then can we know the true measure of a man. The completest submissiveness is your lot, and that is all. Crime is to the passions what nervous fluid is to life, it sustains them, it supplies their strength. It is only by sacrificing everything to sensual pleasure that this being known as man, cast into the world in spite of himself, may succeed in sowing a few roses on the thorns of life. Those who are unhappy clutch at shadows, and to give themselves an enjoyment that truth refuses them, they artfully bring into being all sorts of illusions, 